Sure, it looks like a work van, but the Sprinter Crew Mercedes loaned us is far cooler than one. First, daily living. You can walk in to load it. And when you run your errands, you can make your own parking spots about anywhere without reproach. Pickup trucks can't park right in front of stores like this. Nobody messed with what looked like official deliveries, and it has a motorized step. How tall are you? <laughs> Five, six. It's tall enough for many 12-year-olds. How tall are you? Five, three. The rest of us bend a little. Four, eleven. It has cool little storage areas all over the front, rubber floors, and the doors open very wide to get to an enormous storage area in back or what you could call a blank canvas. If you go online, there's so many different um, ideas and options and YouTube videos to where you could really customize it for two people, for maybe a small family. The Lawrences reconfigure their Sprinter for whatever the eight of them are doing. Today, we're going on a little biking adventure. They call their trips adventures. We don't really have a plan. <laughs> um, we just go wherever we want, really. Because they can sleep in it saved, you know, a few hundred dollars in my mind, you know, on hotel expenses by staying in the van. On the day they took off on their bikes, we used our borrowed Sprinter to hang out at a lake. When it rained, we had roomy shelter. It was actually originally a 15 passenger van. We ripped all the back seats out. We caught up with the wingers and their Ford Transit 500 miles from their home. We race all over the place with them. So it's uh, safe to go keep it in a hotel parking lot. You don't have to worry about somebody stealing something out of the back of your truck. Also uh, blocks the, the gear from any weather or anything like that that we have to encounter. Built the wall in as a, as a partition. And then we also put a wrap on the windows so that like if somebody comes up in the parking lot of a hotel and they try and look in, they can't see in the back windows. The Sprinter we borrowed had four wheel drive. So we checked it out for you. With its height, it's not going to duck under many branches but the relatively tight turning circle was good. It could handle bumpy roads better than our GoPro mount. It clawed its way up the loose gravel undulated hill to about where most crossovers stop. The backup beeper doesn't fit in out here, but we were proud of it for just showing up. It got up the more basic hill easily. It's the new toy hauler. 